Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and here's good. the design that anybody can make and pretty cool, and you can be pretty artistic with it, and you'll learn a few tools, possibly. So we're gonna take the ellipse tool, holding down the control button, but we're gonna make it an arc. And just to make it look like these other ones, just so you'll know you can mirror it. And now we got it at the top. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate of that, holding down the shift key, and I'm gonna make it quite a bit smaller. Now I'm gonna take this first one and I'm gonna to go to my artistic media tool and I'm gonna pick this one right here that has tails on it and click on my line and you see nothing's changed. But if we up it or lower it and make it bigger or smaller, you get a pretty cool effect. Then do the same thing to the second line and just magically make it thicker or bigger. Let's, well, sometimes it's so small that um, you have to go quite a bit before you start seeing it. There we go. Now, one of the key things you have to do is select it all and go to object and break the four objects apart because that, that line that we originally used is still there and the blend tool will not handle it. So now we just have two objects. We're gonna take the blend tool. I normally don't use this blend here, but in this case, it's gonna work perfectly. I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna blend it to that other one. And then you have a bunch of tools when you have the blend tool up here, you can change the number of steps, you know, increasing or decreasing. But to get this twirl effect, right here is the blend direction. So we can up it and look what happens. And you can just play around this to, and you know, you can still add uh, more blends. And if we back up here quite a bit, uh, we can show, and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna back up to there, because um, I've already got my blend, but if we take that one right there and change it to a red, and we'll take our outer one and change it to a blue, and now we've got, you know what, we can make it, let's make that inside one yellow. No, maybe a light blue just to see what it does. And then get your blend tool back. You need to select, well, There we go. And then you can, you know, play around with it and change the direction. So if you go to the plus key, it moves it that way. If you go to the other side, it, it's, it's doing the same thing. It's just a different effect, but it's blending the colors also. And one thing this morning is just doing it. The original is not really blended. So if you go up to object and break the blend apart, you can take away that original one and it doesn't change your blend. You could actually take away the outer one, but it you know it, it, it worked pretty well. Anyway, pretty cool effects that you can get. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.